you know, like 15 years old to be tired of life is just a bit too much. It was a lot of pressure. And um, my parents suggested me to go abroad because they were already thinking about it after college. Maybe they want to send you abroad to exp experiment with larger world and so on. And they were suggesting me to start maybe early. What if you go to America? I always have to look back and I always have to figure out where my place is and most of the time I feel like I'm in between these two countries and um, if I'm back in Korea I'm too Americanized. My, my, my ideas and my habits and my gestures are very American and uh, but in America whenever I am um, trying to blend with American society I feel maybe I'm too Korean for this. So um, it has to come in every aspect of whatever my action is and the biggest part is of course my work and like the, the, my last piece I did a whole piece about introducing Korea and I feel like some of the perspective that I'm looking at is only I can see it because I'm outside but at the same time inside. I think it's because the first reason it has a lot of American influence but not um, white dominant. <laughs> um, so I think there are a lot of people who aren't from the mainstream culture can relate to it. And then uh, outside of Korea, K-pop is considered as a, a subculture. So people who like subculture, they see it, but it's more familiar to them. And there is a lot of uh, fashion uh, elements involved in that and then also like a trendy sounds and there are um, it's quite interesting dynamic and there are so there are things that you can find that is in like mainstream pop culture like for example like the sound of it maybe the dance of it but then there is also some parts that you cannot find it in mainstream culture a lot of a uh, lot of aspect of Korean society that I wanted to point out, the K-pop had it all. Like how they represent women and how they represent the military culture and that how it's impacting a society. So it all had my all, all these answers were within K-pop, but but in a way that is very attractive and in a way it's very amusing. So I thought it was a perfect tool to carry the message. I think it's just everything because um, I cannot really separate myself whenever I'm trying to say things, whenever every, every experience that I'm going through, I cannot separate my gender. And I think everything I'm going through has to do with my gender partially or fully. So it's really hard to say in one part I'm doing this, but I'm pretty sure all of my work, all of my perspective has somewhat influenced by me being a woman. I have screened in, in different countries, uh, mainly in Europe, and I also screened in South America. And it was really interesting to see how people react to different parts of the film. Because when I was making a film, I have a lot of... I, I, for me, I believe when I was working on film, I put many layers of sarcasm and many layers of criticism and depends on who you are you get different things out of it and it was a, one of the most important factor was language I made this film in America and basically written in English so for American audience it was easier to digest it as it is but for the people who spoke English as a second language, they have to think again about what the word means and they have to think again what it really means and they get the second layers of it sometimes. And it depends on their culture, their society, they get different things out of it. So laughing point was very different. <laughs> For me it was really interesting. There is a fear of being wrong or there is a fear of being offended, offensive.
yeah. I try to, yeah. but it's still very scary sometimes. And you know, you want your opinion to matter to other people. You just don't want to bullshit. I'm working on a new piece that also has to do with K-pop, and it's really exciting. And I started last year. Um, I documented this process of uh, nine women having a mutual goal, which was doing a K-pop cover dance. And I found lots of interesting fact, and I'm really happy to work on it. We, um, each of nine women have their own character, their goals, and they have different opinions. But they're all Korean women living in New York, so I think that has to do with um, my practice, something that I've been thinking about, and they um, inspired me a lot, and there was a lot of good influences uh, to each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have screened parallel in Europe and South America and not yet in Asian country Asia is that gonna be okay sure wait okay 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 this is take two